Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hey what's up, my name is Tanya and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video. This video got requested by a few subscribers so I am about to do a full swatching, you can't even see that, of the Natasha Denona, maybe you can see a little, little there we go, the Natasha Denona purple blue uh, eyeshadow palette. <laughs> That is unbelievable how white this is and how reflective it is. So, in case you have not seen the palette, oh, I didn't even pull the protective mirror off. Okay, our protective thing off the mirror. Oh my goodness. I just finished filming a different video and I'm ready for dinner. <laughs> so are my babies. All right, so you get a good size mirror and then there's the most beautiful palette in the entire world. Oh my goodness. And then you get this tearaway sheet that I think is genius because the tearaway sheet has all of the names written on it. So unfortunately, if you tear it away and throw it away, you won't know what the shades are and you can buy these individually. So if you loved one and hit pan, you wouldn't know what it was. But I think it is great because this acts as a barrier to the mirror. So when you fold it over, because she thought of everything with all her palettes, you're not touching the mirror when you're working with it, folding, folding it over. So I love that. I think it is so smart of her. So I don't even know how to tackle this. I guess we will do, I think I can handle on my forearm doing one row at a time horizontally. So I think that's what we're gonna do for swatches. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start with the top row and then we're just going to do um, top row and then I'll clean up next row, next row, next row. And I haven't even swatched these yet so I am so freaking excited to actually swatch all of these. I did one tutorial on these so I have a vague idea of some of them and I've done a couple tutorials on her star palette but I have not swatched all of these colors so I cannot wait so if you guys want to see swatches just keep on watching so we're gonna be doing this row starting with the brown working outward to the last metallic shade so this is 70p cool plum 49m vintage 63m oxide 52M Golden Beige, 09M Quicksilver, 03V Deep Pacific, and 12M Glaze. Aren't those sickening? They are just gorgeous. And that is the first row of four more of four rows total. When she has things like M, it usually means metallic. I think V is velvet. What else is there? Yeah. She has chroma crystal in her star palette. The chroma crystals, she says, are way better to apply with your finger, and it is so true. A brush does not pick up chroma crystal, and people have complained how you pick, you dip your brush in. I even saw Jeffree Star trying to apply the star palette using the chroma crystal shades, using a brush, and there was no payoff. And I'm sitting there and I'm like yelling at the computer screen. I'm like, Jeffree Star, no, you need to use your finger. Natasha Denona said it herself. You need to like be pressing in the chroma crystal shades with your finger. And every time I've worked with the Star Palette, that's what I've done. Or I've even added a little bit of insurance with like a glitter glue, any kind of adhesive to like make it extra, but you don't even need that. I just like that much to be that anal. And then once it's pressed in, you get a little bit of fallout when you're working with it. But once it's pressed in, it holds and it is good to go. It is not going anywhere. You're not gonna have fallout. So this one doesn't appear to have any chroma crystal shades in it, just metallics and velvets along with mattes. And these mattes and any of her mattes or metallics are the most creamy and buttery I have ever felt. 
I have a million palettes now. It is so bad. My addiction is through the roof. But I'm telling you, there's something so magical about her formulation. She does use the special botanical oil magical potion in the formulation, and it makes all the difference. I just finished doing tutorials on quite a few palettes over the last couple days, back to back to back to back. And now coming back and touching these, it's like heaven. So I'm gonna clean up my arm and get to the next row. Now onto the second row. So we have 75P Satin Skin, 23P Smoky Plum, 51M Rosewood, 60M Golden Rose, and I actually have this one in a single, but I'm loving that smoky plum. 11V Steel Blue, 84V Powder Blue, and 38M Gray Brown. Look at these guys, they are like so to die for. Ah, the metallics are just out of this world. But then the, I don't, the, this one too though, it's a P and it's not a metallic. Maybe it means pearl, cause she, used, she uses pearls too. Oh, I don't know, they're just gorgeous. Okay, onto the third row. This is 40M Lavender Gray, 28V Electric Violet, 22M Maroon, 80M Piggy, 11M Metallic Steel Blue, 92M Petroleum Blue, and 04 chromatic. Can you believe these shades though? Ah! Anytime I want to buy another palette, I need to remind myself I own this palette and this star palette, and there's not another palette that I freaking need. Because look at this, this like this is just this is beautiful. This is insane. This is just so gorgeous. On to the last row. This is 32P Deep Slate Gray. This is 82V Nina's Orchid. I can't believe how beautiful this orchid color is. I need to play with this one ASAP. Then 24V Aubergine. 05M Calypso Blue. And I'm back out of focus, hold on. 65V Smoke. 89V K-O-H-T-A-O <laughs> and 01V Navy. Oh, that was a lot of swatches. I'm pretty sure my forearm has never been so exfoliated in its life. <laughs> that was crazy. So that is the Natasha Denona Purple Blue. Then I do have the star palette. I just want to remind you guys and show you. I will link the video below because I am pretty damn sure I swatched this. And if I didn't, shame on me. And then you guys let me know if you want me to swatch this one for you. I then also have, this was my very first Natasha Denona purchase. I got her eyeshadow palette five number two because this was at one point like more of my go-to colors when I was stepping outside of my comfort zone from browns and delving into a little bit more of like some nudes and a purple. So this was my very first purchase. And then I bought all of the rectangular shades are Natasha Denona. So that's why I already had like that one and this one and I think that one but the rest of the ones in the palette I didn't have. So I bought all of these from Beautylish. You can buy everything from Natasha Denona directly as well. It's just that it comes from Israel and it takes so much longer where Beautylish carries all of this and all of the singles. So you can get your hands on it. And this one I got in my lucky bag. So I was so lucky because I paid $175 and this retails for $239. So I got very lucky on this one. And her individuals sell for anywhere from $27 to $29, depending on the individual one. I don't know what makes which one more expensive. 
Uh, the Natasha Denona Star Palette, I believe is limited edition, but it is still available and it is, it is a dream. It is so good. So you guys, you really should get this if you can. So this is my entire Natasha Denona collection, but I was specifically asked by a few people to give swatches on this one. So let me know if you guys have any other requests. I'm always happy to do it. I will have a complete eyeshadow palette video coming up shortly because that's been requested. A makeup room tour has been very highly requested. But as you can see, like that icky taupey color in the background, I'm getting this room painted white so it's going to be brighter. And then I'm going to do a makeup room tour for you guys as soon as it's painted. And then I got another request on the Kylie Jenner palette to do another look. So that one's coming. Don't worry. I have everything written down, so just keep throwing them at me, and I promise at one point or another I will get to all your requests because I do keep a list of everything. So that does it for this video. I hope that you guys liked it, and until next time, good night, good morning, wherever you are. I love you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye.